Any of the rest of you guys think about that? I mean, have you guys watched a lot of streams? Do you see a lot of interest? <laughs> Maybe I'm not phrasing it correctly. I guess I'm I guess I'm just wondering, I mean, I have friends that play. I guess I just don't know how many of them would actively watch streams. And do any of you guys stream? I think absolutely. I I just I want to see the community grow. I want to see Dwarf Fortress. I mean, I know I know Tarn and Zach haven't monetized at all, but I know they get increasing donations every year. And I just I think Dwarf Fortress is a great game, and I would love to watch it take off. I know I don't have any personal interest in it, but. So I guess, yeah, I guess that is my question. And I don't know what my mason is freaking doing. It says no job. Oh, that's because I'm an idiot. Track stops, by the way, are um, mechanism, are um, mechanics. I was sitting here waiting on him to build these. They take mechanics. Okay. That explains why he was just standing around wondering what I was doing. Start the game already. Okay. Okay. So you've built a track, A to B, a loop, whatever. You've got your two track stops. You just need two for now. Now, you can get much more complex than that. Think about a real railroad. Um, a to B is pretty simple, but it can get infinitely more complex. So, we're going to press R for new root. We're going to go ahead and name this uh, furniture. Okay, now the weird thing about how you designate these, in case you haven't played with this at all, is when you press S for new stop, it designates says stop wherever your cursor is, so gotta be ready, or else you end up deleting it. So we've got our two stops. You can see that it's like trying to path between them, but it'll figure it out. Um, so stop two. We're gonna go ahead and name uh, dump, and stock one. We're gonna go ahead and name wood stockpile because it's where I'm getting my wood furniture and you have to remember to so now you go inside your uh, your individual stockpiles and you have to pick a direction okay because if you don't they're just gonna treat this like an A and B so if you want it to get treated like a loop we're going to go counterclockwise yeah, counterclockwise sounds fantastic. Okay, so D to change direction. I need to head east immediately when full. And I also need to head east in 14 days um, and then push C always and go ahead and clear that other crap out. And actually, I think 14 days may be a little long. Let's go ahead and drop that to 10. Now let's go down to dump and change that one. And we're going to head north because you have to pay attention to what the next square is. So he needs to head north a square when um, empty 
and then clear out all this other crap. Okay? Now, he's a dump, so he doesn't need anything, but this wood stockpile, you have to remember um, within it to uh, link a stockpile, or else he'll go fill up with furniture from anywhere in your fort, including your finished file. So press S, just like stops, you have to be over the stockpile that you want to designate, or else it just ends up doing it like, see, and it's like, oh, I don't know. Clear that one out. And then it's going to pull from that stockpile, but it doesn't know what to pull. So we're going to say, take all furniture. Okay. Now, the V over there uh, for the wood one, that's telling you it's percent full. Um, Red is telling you that there's like a problem or whatever. Green means the vehicle's good to go. So our furniture uh, cycle there, those three lines don't have a vehicle associated with them. So V for associate vehicle. Go ahead and pick this nice fancy chestnut. See, it's red. It's not suspended or anything. They just haven't taken it there. And that's it. That is how um, you set one up to guide. Is that simple enough? Excellent. Okay, so that's that's a basic implementation. You're seeing how that's going to save me on furniture. It's going to put all my furniture right here off my main shaft, and it's going to stack it just infinitely deep. Um, but but really, what it really saves on is when you start doing raw materials. So when you link two stockpiles, uh, so that you create like you create a stockpile to put down to a layer that actually has a problem. Okay, so when you make a stone stockpile, and it's all that crap, right? It's already got stone in it. Now they're going to try to take stone there from all these other places, so you may want to try to like limit it to one kind of stone and go ahead and limit it to that. And if they're linked, they won't pull it out of linked stockpiles. So they're going to pull from that locally and you can, oh, there it is, A, take from anywhere. Take from links only. So it's not linked to anything. So it says take from links only, they're not going to fill it. Then you can come over here. Actually, I think I did this wrong. Give to a stockpile. Fantastic. You can give to this stockpile. And... It's only going to take from links. It doesn't have anything set to give to it, so it's not going to take anything that's not existing in it. Okay? Now, if this was the stockpile that fueled your minecart, if you had a minecart right here, all of a sudden you now have a source to a single stop along a minecart. Then this minecart could take this stone and it could dump it right here. So we'll create a stockpile. Now because it's a crap store shop and it's going to get captured, we've got to make room for a door. So I will... I'll actually try to set this up for you. That will be my loading zone. Okay. So we'll actually 
do this for real here. Actually, I don't need it to be any wider than a door. Okay, and that's a stone pile. I'm gonna say this once again will take from links only. I'm gonna say take from a stockpile. Right there, those are now linked. If you go to this one, it's already set it to give for you. Those are linked. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna take any stone that's in this stockpile naturally, because it's not set to take it from anywhere, and you'll watch this guy, he's gonna move it all the way over to here. And actually, if I set this to three wheelbarrows, he'll do it faster, because they walk so slow. Um, the only exception to that is that some of the stone's already been designated for constructions, I believe. Maybe, do I have anything under construction? And that would obviously trump um, where it's getting stored. But as far as just loose stone, it's gonna follow those rules. Now the nice thing about tracks is your ramps, you can build those right over the top of existing ramps. You don't have to, you don't have to de-designate those. Um, you do, you'll notice I'm building north-south ramps. The reason you do that is because when something's really heavy, um, I don't know if this bug's still in place, but people were having an issue with, uh, if the dwarf was not strong enough to push it up, it was freaking out the cart because, like, here, I'm gonna be going clockwise this time. And, um, so, It'll be rolling down there, but that that south one, right here, I'm gonna I'm gonna designate it as an east-west. The reason it's east-west is because it's obviously only gonna be going east. But if it starts to roll backwards on him, it'll freak out because it's not allowed to go west. And then people were having minecarts just get stuck in space. So I always designate my ramps as two directional. Obviously, if you have rollers and stuff on it, it's not a problem that things are allowed to go the other way. Worst case, if you end up changing your ramp system later, your track system later, and you decide that you want to, I just find it better. It's just, it's just more versatile. There's really no advantage to having a one-way track, so it doesn't cost more materials. There's really no reason. Okay, build me more track. Sure, my crafts are still underway. What am I doing on drinks? I got plenty of drinks. I'm actually kind of low on plants. I have really no defense, but that's fine. I got a population of 11. It'll be okay. Um, worst case, I start over, right? Dot hello star. Dot hello star. Make sure yes, you are my guy. Fantastic. Only get bedrooms to the guys that I've actually, and I need to start. Um, C Y N. Put an asterisk there for the guys that I've already. Migrants. You need no hauling, sir. This is the part that take makes dwarf fortress take forever. Even with the current version of dwarf therapist, it just causes me to micromanage even more. <laughs> <laughs> 